All right, we're gonna get this party started by doing the Windows recovery instructions. You're gonna go to the Steam Deck recovery page, you're gonna click download the image, and you're gonna save the image. I would make sure you write down where you put it. Uh, and then, once that is done, that's gonna take a little while depending on your internet speed. In the meantime, we can go get Etcher, Belina Etcher. Now, for some reason, the version 19s weren't working with the image. So I went back to version 1.18.11, and that's the version we're gonna use. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna grab the setup.exe. Again, we're gonna download that. We'll put it right next to, uh, to our image, well, when it gets here. <laughs> All right, so now we got both of these things downloading. Let's zoom me ahead a little bit. While we're waiting for that download to finish, let's go ahead and install Etcher. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna install it again, but we're waiting patiently for the uh, image to come down. Okay, and there it is, perfect. Perfect. Now we're gonna need to extract this image. I know it used to actually work without being extracted. You could just put in the BZ2, but for some reason it wasn't behaving. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, extract this. Don't worry, we'll speed it up a little bit here for you. Took a few minutes, but that's okay. All right, so if you don't extract, it'll sit there and say flashing at 0% forever. I let it sit for 20, 30 minutes, nothing happened. So now we're gonna actually load the extracted IMG file. Make sure your target is actually the USB device that you're looking for. Now they'll try to tell you there's large drives or something, but you wanna make double, triple check that that's the right drive. Okay. Yeah, if you don't do that, I mean, it will literally just wipe out whatever drive. You pick your C drive, it's gonna wipe it out. That's terrible, I can't even imagine that. But you can see it takes a moment, even when starting. I left that in so you could see how long it was, and now it's starting to flash. Eight minutes later, it is flashed and validated, and it is done. So we've got the image, and we're good to go. If I, this is, you're done here, jump to booting to the drive at 5.15. Otherwise, we're gonna do it on the Steam Deck next. So if we wanna create a recovery drive on the Steam Deck, the process is extraordinarily similar. We're gonna use the same tools, pretty much the same everything. It's really nice that you can do this without an external PC, right? So these Steam Recovery Image, uh, Etchers, uh, GitHub, all of those are gonna be down in the description. You don't have to worry about trying to read this little tiny text up here. Once again, we're gonna download the recovery image, right? Just click here, pretty straightforward. Agree to sell your soul and download. All right, we're gonna download it to downloads. Make sure your browser doesn't trash the extension. It needs to be BZ2, great. And we're gonna let it download. Meanwhile, we're gonna go right back to the Etcher page here, for those of you who were tuned into the beginning, and we're gonna find 1.18.11. I tried 1.19 several versions and it would not accept the image. So I do know 1.18.11 works. We're gonna grab the X64 app image and we're ready to go. One last thing, just like we did on the Windows side, we're gonna extract this BZ2. The actual image itself is about seven gigabytes. Took uh, over four minutes to extract. But uh, yeah, much like before on the Windows side, it would not uh, write the BZ2. So now we're gonna grab the IMG file. Again, make sure that that's the right drive, man. You don't wanna wipe out your main Steam drive. Now you do have to have uh, a pseudo password here. If you don't, go to the console, type passwd and set one before you do this. All right, so we're flashing. And don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch this thing flash. Once again, over eight minutes and the flashing is done. The drive pops up to show you all of the recovery stuff and we're pretty much uh, good to go here. So now we need to actually get to the process of booting to this device. We're gonna go ahead and shut down from here. Make sure you shut down, not restart. We want the deck to be completely off and it's really hard sometimes on the OLED to see when it's actually off. Now, once it's off, you're gonna power up while holding down the volume down button and then you're gonna get this boot menu. We wanna boot from the USB device. You may have multiple ones. Now I'm leaving all of this in here just in case you guys wanna see 
how long it's going to take. I want you to be able to see it because there's a couple of spots in here that it looks like it stopped working. And I want you guys to know that it's, it's still working. You just have to wait it out. Okay. So we're letting it boot. We're letting it boot. Now, if you, um, if you don't have a fast drive, it's a USB 2 or something, this may take a lot longer. But this is a nice, fast SanDisk Extreme uh, 3 uh, USB 3.1. These are all your recovery tools at the top. Leave those alone unless you're actually here to do a recovery. Instead, what we're looking to do is free up some space, right? We couldn't boot the deck, for example, because it's full. We need to go find stuff to delete. Now, you could do it by hand and do some guesswork, or we're going to use a tool called Disk Usage Analyzer. This takes, for some reason, a long time to download. I don't know why it takes so long. Um, but I do want to point out that um, you do have to be online, obviously, for this. Now, I'm wired because I'm in a dock. But if not, you're going to have to connect your Wi-Fi before, of course, downloading Disk User and Usage Analyzer. So that should that should uh, be a given. But listen, I want to make sure you guys get all the action here. All right. So now we're uh, pretty much done downloading, and you can launch Disk Usage Analyzer from here using the launch, or of course, it is now in your Start menu right here. Let's go ahead and launch this guy and start seeing. What's taking up space? Now you could do the same thing if your deck will boot, you can install Disk Usage Analyzer and do the same thing to help you find stuff. But right now you're sort of in a crippled state, right? So we're gonna go ahead and choose Scan Folder and we wanna underneath Devices. There's gonna be very confusing. So under Devices, you have a Home. Devices, Home, that's what we're looking for. That's your actual user home directory. All right, and then once we select that, we're gonna choose deck. Sorry, that's off screen. And it's going to parse your entire deck folder. This is where pretty much everything's going to be. Now, this will take a minute or two, depending on how big your drive is. If you have a 64 gig drive, it's probably very quickly uh, gonna enumerate this for you. But in this case, it is uh, one terabyte and it's fairly full. So it's gonna enumerate everything. And then it's gonna present us with this. Now you can see here, 98% of my drive is in local, <laughs> right? That's kind of crazy. But there, you don't need a lot of space to reboot, right? You need a couple 300 megabytes maybe. Maybe um, you've got that in your downloads folder, right? I have, I have some stuff in here, I can get rid of that. Maybe you have videos or something like that that maybe you can get rid of. Now you can't do it from this interface because it's just gonna put it in the trash, but I'm gonna show you how to get around that. Let's delve in a little bit here, right? So again, documents could have something in it. Just because it says 0% doesn't mean there's nothing in there. And of course, if we drill in here, you probably should know what you're gonna see. A boatload of Steam games, right? We're gonna go into Steam apps, common, and look, uh, you can see it's, it's obvious what's in here, right? So you could nuke one of these games. You could. So um, let's do this one more time. I just kind of wanted to go back and look at this again. Um, downloads again, videos, right? I got some videos in here. Well, I can't delete them from here because it will move them to the trash and the trash still takes up space. But this is a lot of room here. This is probably all I need to delete to get back online. Yeah, so let's see how we're gonna get rid of these videos, right? We're gonna right click it and say, uh, move to trash, right? Well, it won't work for one thing. And if you could do it, it would just take up room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy path to clipboard and we're gonna go into the Dolphin File Manager and paste that location right here in the uh, address bar. Paste it. And uh, we're gonna have to get rid of the, uh, get rid of the file name, obviously. All we care about is the videos folder. There you go, there are the two files. Now I don't need those anymore. I can get rid of them. Now if you move them to the trash, they're not gonna work, right? What you really need to do is turn on a delete button. So if you haven't watched my dolphin tricks and tips video, highly recommend you do that. We're gonna go to configure toolbars and we're gonna search down here for the delete. There's actually a real delete function. <laughs> so we're gonna grab that and we're gonna uh, go to the bottom and we're gonna paste that guy in over here. 
Great. So now look at the top right. We have a delete button. Now we can actually get rid of these files. So we're going to select them and get rid of them. All right. You can't undo this. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I just freed up more than enough space to reboot. But let's say that, um, well, you're in here, right? Maybe we want to, um, I don't know, get rid of the game that you're not playing, right? We could do that too. Now you could, of course, if you didn't want to use uh, disk usage analyzer, you could simply go here. This is the home folder. As you can see, I've got ESDE, MU virtual. So I know for a fact that that's the right location. So let's go in and say, let's do one more deletion just for giggles, right? Ghostbusters, 25 gigabytes. That so should free up plenty of space. Again, we're gonna right click it. We're gonna choose copy path to clipboard. Now we did the folder this time. So instead of a file name, which was probably what I should have done the first time. I'm gonna paste that in there. Okay. And there's all the files for it, right? So I could go back into common here, find Ghostbusters and delete it. All right, not move to trash, right? You can't move to trash, you gotta delete it. There she is right there, delete it. I didn't actually delete it, but you get the idea. We're looking for things we can cull enough to get the drive to boot again and have enough room for updates. You gotta be really careful. Make sure you use that scan folder. It's really easy to get confused as to which one of these is which. Better if you just choose it yourself. Okay, now that we're done, we can go ahead and restart the deck and see if your problems have gone away. If you've got enough free space now, you should be good to go. All right, well, listen, um, that's about it for this one. If you have questions, please leave something down in the comments, like the video, subscribe, you know, do the whole bit, ring the bell. We appreciate it. And hey, check out these other videos right here on this channel. Take care, everybody.